friends, I'm so glad you're here. We've been reading a ton of picture books together and we've only read one chapter book. So today I thought that I would read to you my favorite chapter book of all time, The Magic School Bus. So I teach first grade and so I love reading about Miss Frizzle and her class and how they get to go on so many cool adventures. I wish that we had a magic school bus in our school. Wouldn't that be so fun? Well, we are going to go on an adventure with Miss Frizzle and her class, and we are going to go to space. Okay, now I know we're not actually going to space, but we are going on a super fun reading adventure. We might even call it a reading expedition. Okay, now like every good astronaut, we have to do a countdown before we blast off into our adventure. Are you ready? Count with me, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Here we go, are you ready readers? Let's go. Introduction. Hi, my name is Carlos. I am one of the kids in Miss Frizzle's class. Maybe you've heard of Miss Frizzle. Sometimes we just call her the Frizz. She is a terrific teacher, but a little strange. One of her favorite subjects is science and she knows everything about it. She takes us on a lot of field trips in the magic school bus. Believe me, it's not called magic for nothing. We never know what's going to happen when we get on that bus. Miss Frizzle likes to surprise us we can usually tell when she is planning a special lesson. We just look at what she's wearing. A few months ago, Miss Frizzle showed up in an astronaut jumpsuit. We had just started a unit on the solar system, so we thought Miss Frizzle was dressed up to get us in the mood. Of course, we couldn't actually take a field trip to outer space. But the joke was on us. Let me tell you what happened. Chapter one. I stuffed my homework in my backpack and ran out the door. I was in a hurry to get to school. Today was solar system day. Our homework was to write a report on one of the nine planets. My report was on Mars, my favorite. I just knew my report would be the best, but that wasn't the only reason I was in a hurry. I had finally finished putting together Rocco, the rock hound robot, a remote control rover I made from a kit. I'd been working on him for weeks. There must've been a zillion parts. Now Rocco was ready to roll and I was taking him to school for show and tell. When I got to class, Miss Frizzle was hanging up a chart of the solar system. Our solar system. The solar system is the sun and all the bodies that orbit around it, the nine planets, their moons, asteroids, chunks of rocks, and comets, balls of ice and dust. The sun is the center of our solar system. The sun supplies all the light and almost all the heat for everything else in the solar system. No planet, moon, comet, or asteroid has any light of its own. The word solar comes from the Latin word sol, which means sun. One by one, the rest of the class came in. They crowded around to look at Rocco. Cool toy, Carlos, said Dorothy Ann. Most of the time, we just call her D.A. Rocco was modeled after Sojourner, the first robot rover to explore Mars. But Rocco looked more like a dog than a robot. As he rolled along on his wheels, his head turned from side to side and his tail wagged. He even made a little beeping noise as he moved. It sounded something like yip, yip, yip. But the best thing about Rocco was his rock pocket, a secret compartment in his back. When I pushed a button on the remote, the rock pocket opened and out popped a built-in mechanical arm with a scoop at the end. The scoop could be dragged along the ground to pick up rocks and soil. Another button on the remote turned the arm and dumped the stuff into the rock pocket. It was the neatest way to find rocks for my collection. Rocco isn't a toy, I said. He's a robot rock collector. I pushed the button to open Rocco's rock pocket. Inside were some rocks and reddish clay soil that Rocco had scooped up on his way to school. This soil looks a lot like the soil on Mars, I said. Raffi laughed. No way, he said. 
Mars soil is green, just like Martians. You got rocks in your head, Ralphie, I said. That stuff about little green men on Mars is pure science fiction. Mars is actually the red planet because of the rust in its soil. Well, I heard that there may have been life on Mars long ago, Phoebe said. Maybe they had little green men there. You guys don't know anything, Keisha said. Nothing could live on Mars. It's too cold. Miss Frizzle put an end to the argument. I think the best way to settle this is with our own eyes. Everyone on the bus. Mars is only 49 million miles away. We can be there before lunch. I tucked Rocco under my arm and followed the Frizz to the parking lot. The bus looked a little different than usual. For one thing, there was a couple of huge rockets sticking out the back. If I had known we were going to outer space today, I would have brought a bigger lunch, Arnold said as we climbed aboard. Buckle your seatbelts, the Frizz called. A regular spaceship would take at least nine months to get to Mars, but this is the magic school bus. We will be there in a jiffy. She fired the rockets and we blasted off. All planets travel around the sun by Arnold. Each planet travels around the sun or revolves in its own path or orbit. The farther the planet is from the sun, the longer it takes to revolve. Earth is the third planet from the sun. It takes 365 days, one year, to make one revolution. Spring plus summer plus fall plus winter equals one year. All planets spin by Phoebe. The planets spin like tops as they revolve around the sun. Some planets spin very fast, some spin very slow. Earth spins around or rotates every 24 hours. This is what makes day and night. One rotation equals one daytime and one nighttime. 